Welcome ladies and gentlemen to the second video of this tutorial series. We will learn about web security and at the beginning everything you learn here is for securing your own web applications not to hack anybody else's because this is illegal and of course I'm not liable for any special direct or indirect damage for any other damage resulting from the use of the information presented in this video. So. Uh, just use this information to make your own applications better, more secure, but do not hack anybody else because this is evil and it's illegal. So uh, we start with injections like in the last video. An injection is used by an attacker to introduce or inject code into a vulnerable computer program and change the course of execution. So this is the citation from Wikipedia and today we will learn about HTML injections. So what do we need for an HTML injection? We need a hackable website or web application uh, which does not uh, try to figure out uh, which content uh, gets saved into the database and which content uh, from the database gets displayed on the web application show so they don't uh, try to uh, delete html tags or something like that so we need to store a string in the database through a, a form or a text text input and uh, for example like h1 and closing tag h1 and this string has to be uh, displayed on the website and it will result in something like we see here. So we try this straight out on our guestbook. Okay, I will use uh, my guestbook on the, uh, the localhost. So I go to the guestbook and we try an HTML injection with h1 and h2 and we write something here give feedback and as we see we injected some html here okay this is pretty uh cool because we can do uh some stuff and write in somebody else's name for example i log in as admin uh, password is admin1234 and we log in and go to the secret chat okay so then we take a look at the page source so if we have uh, some chat <coughs> here and we write something like uh, my message and then these tags closes tag, closing tags uh, gets called automatically or added automatically uh, within the PHP code. So let's try to do something uh, to uh, write a message in somebody else's name. So I try to uh, copy this code. Okay. And I post it inside of here. So I can write my message here. Hello, work hard. This is the message which gets shown as admin. Then we make it closing tag, two closing tags, which is for uh, these two panels here. So one for the div with class column small nine and one for the uh, div with the class panel row, okay? Then we open a new uh, div panel row, div class panel row, and here we write a different name like Simon. Then I say, I hate my job, for example. And we write a message in somebody else's name, which is pretty evil. So let's give it a try. And as you see, I post it uh, as admin, hello, work hard. And uh, Additionally, I added a second uh, a second message in somebody else's name, Simon, with I hate my job. So this is pretty evil. And this should not work in a secure uh, web application. So uh, how can we change this? Uh, 
we need to uh, delete every uh, HTML tag before we save it into the database. And how do we do this in, H in PHP? Uh, this is a very, very unsecure application. I have a PDO for uh, the secure version I, I have written inside of here. And I have a <laughs> really, really old MySQL collection uh, for, uh, for the unsecure version to show you how it's not done. And I can show you the, the comments in some of the next videos. But for now, we are going to the send secret chat. So we have a clean string here and we say insert this. Okay. But what happens uh, if we say strip tags every HTML tag gets stripped away except of every tag that I insert here a second parameter. So I can uh, uh, inject some a tags in my tag in my text, but it will not work uh, the same way anymore. So uh, if I write Simon and I hate my job again, it will not work anymore. And here work hard, work hard. If I do this, this will not work anymore because every diff will get stripped away. So if I post this, it ends up in admin, work hard, and then Simon, I hate my job. And there is something similar in every, uh, in every programming language. So you simply have to delete every uh, HTML deck and then add only the HTML decks that you allow. So if we want uh, to send a link, we're still allowed to send a link. For example, I make a link href bw slash slash google.com and if I post this as you see we're still allowed to send a, a, a deck because we allowed it uh, within here within the strip dex function the strip dex function is uh, specially for PHP but there is a function that is uh, that uses the same principle in every HTML, uh, uh, in every programming language, okay? So, uh, but how can we uh, still uh, send something in, uh, in somebody else's name? If we take a look at the, uh, at this, at the form that we have here, we have a hidden input field with a value admin. Let's try to change this in, I don't know, myself, for example. Let's see what's happened if I post this form to the uh, server. Oh, this uh, hidden field is used for the, uh, for the username. And this is also hackable, as you see. So I'm still allowed to change this to Simon and write something like, uh, I hate my job and send this. And you see Simon hates his job. So this is still not uh, pretty cool. So what can we do? As you see, we have a post uh, username but uh, when we log in into our application, we have a login, we make a session, which is called Benutzer, which means uh, user in German, and uh, set them to the name, which is posted in the login form. So maybe we use this session uh, for, uh, for the username and not the post parameter in the uh, 
in the hidden field because this is pretty unsecure. So let's try what happens if I say session benutzer and change this and I reload my page and what happens if I still add something like Simon and then I write I hate my job and give the feedback. What happens? You see I don't write as uh, Simon anymore. I write as admin because I take the session for posting to the server which is a bit more secure than using a hidden field which is changeable by anybody uh, who who knew HTML a little bit and knew the inspect uh, function so I guess we're pretty safe here for now of course we're not secure uh, against any uh, against any SQL injection but we will learn this this uh, in a little bit in a later video so I have here some uh, comments that I will show to you when we talk about SQL injections but I guess we're finished and done with the HTML injections and if you like this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up to hit the subscribe button and we'll see us in the next video don't forget to share this video everywhere Bye.